Okay, let's let's take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. So we have the base edition. The base edition is currently fifty dollars, uh, right? It's going to be fifty dollars for the base edition. It's going to be seventy dollars for the heroic edition, and it's going to be ninety dollars for the epic edition. Here's the sad bit of this: the base edition gets you the base game and a singular pet. That's it. Just a little pet. I remember a time where a base edition would get you a game guide, a booklet, maybe even a soundtrack, like a shit ton of things. You'd get bonus discs and all that crap just from a base edition. The base edition right now, $50, and you get basically the game and a fucking pet. Then you go to the heroic edition, which suddenly gives you a flying mount. It gives you a character level boost all the way to level 60, right? Which is disgusting in and of itself i fucking hate the level boosts in world of warcraft um you get the same pet that the base edition people get and that is 70 dollars right that, that's a 70 dollar price tag now something is off here mathematically something doesn't make a lot of sense here to me because a character boost right now in world of warcraft is priced at what 60 dollars am i correct Swanky Tiger, I don't fucking know. I mean, I have a physical collector's edition. It's right up there. Blizzard sent me that physical collector's edition of Shadowlands. I, I don't know if it's going to be worth jack shit in in four or five years, right? But it's up there. It fucking chills on the shelf. I, I don't open it. I don't use it. It's just there. Um, I would I would imagine if you're going to do investments, that's probably not the best place to invest your money. But, you know, what do I know? Um... But okay, so in other words, one or two things is true here. Number one is that the game is incredibly overpriced because Blizzard manages to sell their game for $70 and a character level boost that they themselves have priced at $60 for $70. Or the character level boost is entirely overpriced and should not be $60. But something isn't adding up. Technically speaking, this is a 100% uh like bonus value because you are getting uh what is it 110 dollars worth of things if you include the pet pets are what 20 dollars 25 dollars on the store so you're actually looking at 135 dollars worth of content that blizzard deems as content uh for 70 dollars right so something is making sense here and then you get the epic edition which is 90 dollars and here you get the time walkers hearthstone diadem of the spell keeper transmark wings of awakening transmark and an extra 30 days of game time so these prices make no sense why do we not just have two editions charge 60 dollars make the heroic edition the base edition and then the epic edition you charge $80 for and it has all of the extra goodies. Why all these different editions? Because you also have a physical collector's edition that, that is also strapped on top of the, the these four editions. Why do we need so many fucking editions just to get a fucking game? Like, it's a game. Just give me the game. Make it two editions, you know, one with all the goodies in it, one with just the game. And let's be done with it. We don't need a hundred different editions just to buy a fucking video game, right? These editions for Dragonflight is like Blizzard taking a page from Ubisoft's book. Uh, Blizzard is not as bad as Ubisoft. No one is as bad as Ubisoft. Like Ubisoft tends to have like seven different editions. In order to understand a Ubisoft edition launch, you need a mathematical fucking degree, bro. Because uh, the editions don't work the way that you think they do. Um, it's all over the place and you have to be able to keep track of it and make a chart and sort of plot the chart and all the rest of it. I just, I know this is the gaming industry that we live in right now and this is to entice people. This is literally why it exists from a, a psychological standpoint. I can tell you why this exists. So psycho uh, psychologically speaking, $50 is going to be the base entry point. That's what most people are going to be willing to pay is the, the $50, okay? $70 and this is where things get really fucking interesting. Blizzard sells their base edition for $10 less than what they usually sell expansions for. They sell the heroic edition for $10 more than what they usually sell expansions for. But because it's only $10 more than what they usually sell expansions for, people might be more willing to buy it. Someone said earlier, if you look at the amount of mounts that people have already in the game, you can see how many people have pre-ordered. You can see how many people have pre-ordered on the heroic edition. This is Blizzard preparing the player base for $70 games. 
It is called uh, Sinalization. Uh, they make the base game look crap, so people choose mid or high value item in the illusion of choice. Uh, Malt games, yes. Yes. It, it is all psychological tricks. It, 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 it's meant to psychologically entice you to pay what Blizzard... Blizzard actually wants $70 for their game. That's what Blizzard actually wants. They want $70 for their expansions. We know that this is what the gaming industry want. The gaming industry have said multiple times that they th games should cost $70, no longer $60. Because $60, it's been $60 for 20 years. So they would really love to push it up to $70. This is what Blizzard wants. They want $70 for a game, but they can't get it yet. That would be very fucking hard to get because most people do not want to pay $70 for a video game. But you're not just paying $70 for a video game, are you? Because you're getting a character boost. You're getting a, a flying mount. You're getting a pet. So $70 suddenly looks really nice. And technically speaking, none of this cost Blizzard anything extra. Because technically speaking, the only thing that really cost Blizzard anything is the making of the video game. Because I guarantee you this pet and this flying mount was already part of the game. They just decided to remove them and add them to the pre-order bonus. So yes, this is, a, this is the perfect example of what they call price anchoring. It's again a psychological trick. You anchor the price at $50, right? For the base, normal, anything. Then you do the more expensive one, not much more expensive, it's only $20, but it looks amazing. It looks really, really fucking amazing. And then you do an epic edition with like a whole bunch of transmogs and stuff for $90. $90 is steep. Most people won't be able to pay it. So suddenly, the anchor price of $70 starts looking really juicy, right? It starts looking like a juicy idea. Let's pay the $70, I get a bunch of extra stuff for only $10 more. Now, in a few years from now, after you've bought three or four expansions at $70, because all the cool stuff that you're getting now, um, suddenly the base edition moves to $70, the heroic edition moves to $80 or $90, and then, of course, the Epic Edition moves to $110. Because all they're doing now is they're starting to anchor us uh, into a, a sort of new normal, if you will. Uh, Takes Max, Tex Max Gaming. Thanks for the follow. Really appreciate that, bro. Welcome to the channel. How much was FFN Walker? I don't remember. I have no idea. Um, the, the truth is that this is all scumbag moves by the gaming industry using our own psychology against us. And if you think that this stuff doesn't work, um, the gaming psychological industry is worth billions of dollars. Gaming companies pay billions in order to figure out how humans work, how to market things to humans. Just look at how it's laid out on their site. Base edition, a measly three little lines, right? Heroic edition, ooh, paragraph. Epic edition, ooh, paragraph. Oh my God, it must be. Look at the color scheme. Just Take a look at the color scheme. Most of you might not even know this. If you look at these colors, wh what does the base edition color suggest to you? When you look at the colors, wh what does it suggest to you? When you look at the base edition, bland, boring, unappealing, neutral colors, gray and white. You know, mwah. Look at the heroic edition, kind of nice. There's a little bit of light there, blue. Kind of makes you think, okay, there's a little bit of color here. It looks a little bit cool. And now look at the epic edition. Oh. Ooh, look at the Epic Edition. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not um, a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. Look at my thumbnails. Do you think that I just make uh, those thumbnails yellow because it's, uh, you know, why not? I, I decided yellow is a, is, a, is a really cool color. No, those thumbnails are yellow because it works. Because people actually fucking click on thumbnails with yellow writing in it. How do I know this? Because this video, we've been warned, is the best video that I have made in the last six months. It's outperforming all of my other videos. Big yellow letters, people love it. So why did Blizzard do this? It's big and yellow. It tells you that this is good. It, your brain wants this because it's valuable. Because yellow is close to gold and for how many hundreds of thousands of years that humans use gold as the main currency. It's shiny. It tells you this is what you need. Now, not everyone can afford this, right? And that's this is where the price is anchored, by the way. The 
Epic Edition is the anchor price. It's the highest of all of them. It tells you that this, all of this is worth $90. I can't afford $90. Fuck, I wish I could afford $90. I can't afford it. I also don't want the base edition. Ah, it looks so bland and boring. But this one is just right. It's called the Goldilocks effect. This one is too bland and boring. This one is too expensive, but really cool. This one is just right for me. And I get my $70 laughing all the way to the fucking bank. <laughs> it's called the Goldilocks effect, and it's actually uh, employed by retail companies quite often. Um, this is a scumbag move, but most of you probably already reckon that this is a thing that does happen. Um, the Goldilocks effect. You have three different companies or brands selling a DVD player in your store. You want to sell a DVD player because why? Well, you're back in the year 2009 and DVD players are cool again. So you want to sell three DVD players. You have a X brand, Y brand, and Z brand, right? These are the three brands that you have. Now, X brand came to you and said, hey, we really, really want to sell some, some of our DVD players, so we'll give you an extra 20% kickback for every one of our DVD players that you actually sell. The game, the company can do one or two things. They can drop the price of the X one to basically be lower than all of the others. The problem then is a lot of people will look at the lowest price DVD player, think that it is automatically worthless and therefore not be willing to buy it because cheaper usually means trash. So what the company will do instead is they will take Z brand and lower that price to like bare minimum. They'll take Y brand and they'll push that price to like the upper limit of what people would be willing to pay for a DVD player. And then they'll put X brand, remember this is the one that's giving them the massive kickback, right in the middle. Why? Because oh, that one's too expensive, that one's too cheap. This one is just right. Humans love shit like this. Our brains rotate to things like this. We make these decisions and it just works every single time. Before we're through that, uh, did you see Bobby is staying on the Blizzard board of directors? Yeah, it's like he's like a fucking bad cancer. You can't get rid of the guy. This is the same when you buy food. You don't buy the XXL big packet, but uh, the normal packet looks bad as well. So you decide in between, maybe food plus drinks or food plus extra sauce. Yeah, it's it's all a scam, but at the end of the day, it worked for these companies. And it's not because humans are stupid. It has nothing to do with intellect. It's designed this way. This is not by accident. This is designed. There are so many psychological bags of tricks that go into deciding these things to make sure that these things ultimately work in their favor. And it's not going to work on everyone. A lot of people like myself is just going to buy the base edition because that's all I need. Going to give two fucks about anything here. But it just has to work on enough people for them to actually get a decent amount of cash from it. right? And that, that's that, it's sad, but it's the way it is.